pleasant morning to all of you. I trust in you're doing quite well, that you had a good night's sleep. Let's go straight into the word of the Lord and let's dive deeply. St. John chapter 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. And how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Here is a crucial verse in question. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. We have come across varied views on particularly verses 7 to 9. The oneness view asserts, which is the view that I cling to dearly, is this is actually saying that Jesus Christ is the incarnation of the Father himself. And there are scriptural references to prove this assertion of mine. There are those who will say that Jesus Christ was a representative of the Father and that he bears all the Father's character, attributes, and everything that is of God. And on that basis he could rightly say, He that had seen me had seen the Father, but not that he is the Father. I've heard that kind of assertion at different times. But firstly, I'm going by what is self-evident, because Jesus himself said, He that had seen me had seen the Father. Now, if we should get to heaven, and we see Jesus, and we ask him the same question Philip asked him, I believe the response would have been the same. He that had seen me had seen the Father. Can anyone tell me which one of the apostles could speak that way? Because they were also representatives of the Father. They represented Jesus on earth, yet none of the apostles, if they were asked, show us Jesus and we will be satisfied, or it sufficeth us. None of the apostles would have said, Have I been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me? He that hath seen me hath seen Jesus. He would say, But uh, that, quite sound, that sounds very absurd to me. Therefore, the self evident is where the truth is. Jesus meant exactly as he said that to see him is to see the Father manifested or embodied in human flesh, even in the person of Jesus Christ. Now, Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Could it be, is there a slight possibility 
that this was a conversation that Philip had with the other apostles during times when the Lord may not have been around with them. I'm thinking of this as a strong possibility though the Bible does not really spell it out. How did Philip know that the other apostles needed to be satisfied as it relates to this query? Was Philip interested in seeing the Father or was he trying to ask Jesus something else? Could it be that he could have been asking Jesus, are you the Father or not? Because of his constant hearing Jesus making reference to his Father. So he says, show us the Father and he suffered us. And Jesus knew what was in Philip's heart. So he said, have I been so long time with you? And yet there was not known me, Philip. He that had seen me had seen the Father. Who did Philip not know Jesus to be? What was the area of revelation that was lacking in his spirit that prompt him, prompted him to make such a query? Jesus, knowing his heart, made reference to the fact, even from before, when he said, If ye had known me, ye would have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know the Father, and you have seen the Father. Not spiritual sight. Because being with Jesus for three and a half years, they had spiritual insight of the Father. So that sight in that context is a physical sight of seeing the Father embodied in flesh, even in the person of Jesus Christ. Let me hear your challenge and your take on this one. God bless you. Have a pleasant Saturday morning in Jesus.